How's it going, folks? Well, one last chapter before Betty Pie. I mean, this has got a really great uh, anti-insomnia ingredient. <laughs> it's called being badly written and tedious. <clears throat> okay, well, anyway, that was that big, major battle. What'd you think, huh? More just like that to come, but uh, less exciting, unfortunately. Even though they involve greater numbers. Uh, well, maybe I'm wrong. Maybe I'm remember remembering this wrong, so we'll drive off that bridge when we get to it. All right, chapter 45. Nephi extinction again foretold. Yeah, they've been fatalistic from the start. Fatalistic from the start. Hung up on doomsday. Alma's departure compared to that of Moses. I, I remember now. I remember now. Oh, shit, this is, this is good. I mean, not really. Uh, dissension in the church. All right. Verse 1. Behold, now it came to pass. That the people of Nephi were exceedingly rejoiced. Because the Lord had again delivered them out of the hands of their enemies. <sighs> Therefore, they gave thanks unto the Lord their God. Yea! And they did fast much. Nothing like a good fast to celebrate. <sighs> I'm so happy I could just Eat my own leg off, I'm starving to death. That's how much I love Jeebus. <laughs> and pray much, and they did worship God with exceeding great joy. Two. And it came to pass in the nineteenth year of the reign of the judges over the people of Nephi, uh, that Alma came unto his son Helaman, and said unto him, Believest thou the words which I spake unto thee concerning those records which have been kept? Three. And Helaman said unto him, Yea, I believe. Four. And Alma said again, Believest thou in Jesus Christ who shall come and then go and then come again? I guess. Except maybe this time it's going to be a little more satisfying. Of more greater duration, they say forever. Of course, everything's ever after and forever ever in fantasy land. Five. And he said, Yea, I believe all the words which thou hast spoken. Wise answer, even if you don't. <clears throat> Six. And Alma said unto him again, Will ye keep my commandments? Seven, and he said, Yea, I will keep thy commandments with all my heart. Eight, then Alma said unto him, Blessed art thou, and the Lord shall prosper thee in this land. Nine, but behold, I have somewhat to prophesy unto thee, but what I prophesy unto thee Ye shall not make known. Then what good is it? 
Yea, what I prophesy unto thee shall not be made known until, even until the prophecy is fulfilled. Therefore, write the words which I shall say. Ten. And these are the words. Behold, I perceive that this very people, the Nephites, according to the spirit of revelation, which is in me, in 400 years from the time that Jesus Christ shall manifest himself upon them shall dwindle uh, unto them shall dwindle in unbelief. Okay, I, I get what he means. Though. Yeah, that's third Nephi. Alright, can't wait to get there. It's going to be fun. Yea, and then shall they see wars and pestilence, yea, famines and bloodshed, even until the people of Nephi shall become extinct. Kind of a downer, dude. What's the point? Well, that's right, bury the records so J.S. Jr. can find them. Totally convinced. Twelve. Yea, at this because they shall dwindle in unbelief, and shall fall into the works of darkness and lasciviousness, and all manner of iniquities. Yea, I say unto you that because they shall sin against, uh, they shall sin against so great light and knowledge. Yea, I say unto you that from that day forth, uh, they even the fourth generation shall not all pass away before this iniqui great iniquity shall come. Wait a minute. Come to pass. It's in there. It's just scrambled up. I'm going to drink that. Talk about quote mining, huh? All right, you caught me. I was quote mining. <laughs> Thirteen. And when that great day cometh, behold, the time very soon cometh that those who are now, or the seed of those who are not numbered among this people of the people of Nephi, shall no more be numbered among the people of Nephi. Oh, Fourteen. But be wait. But whosoever remaineth is not destroyed in that great and dreadful day sh shall be numbered among the Lamanites and shall become like unto them. All save it be a few who shall be called the disciples of the Lord. And them shall the Lamanites pursue even until they shall become extinct. <coughs> Those people of the Lord. Uh, and now, because of iniquity, this prophecy shall be fulfilled. Yeah, boy, well, you're a real buzz killer, aren't you? Hurry up and disappear. I think he gets... I won't give it away. Hang on. Fifteen. And now, it came to pass... That after... Alma had said these things to Helaman, he blessed him, and also his other sons. And he also blessed the earth for the righteous sake. It's kind of shades of Joseph again, you know, and Jacob. And... Anyway, uh, 16. And he said, Thus saith the Lord God, Cursed shall be the land, yea, this land unto every nation, kindred, tongue, and people unto destruction, which do wickedly, when they are fully ripe. And as I have said, so shall it be. For this is the cursing and the blessing of God. God upon the land. 
for the Lord cannot look upon sin with the least degree of allowance. 17. And now when Alma had said these words, he blessed the church. Yea, all those who should stand fast in the faith from that time henceforth. 18. And when Alma had done this, he departed out of the land of Zarahemla, as if to go into the land of Melech, and it came to pass. that he was never heard of more. As to his death or burial, we know not. Shades of Moses, I get it. Yeah, they even tell us that. 19. Behold, this we know, that he was a righteous man, and the saying went abroad in the church that he was taken up by the Spirit, or buried by the hands of the Lord, even as Moses. Yeah, yeah, we God. But behold, the Scriptures saith, the Lord took Moses unto himself, and we suppose that he has also received Alma in the Spirit unto himself. Therefore, for this cause, we know nothing concerning his death or burial. That took a long time to say what you already said. We get it! God! <laughs> Twenty. And now, it came to pass. Thank God! Ugh. I needed that in the commencement of the 19th year of the reign of the judges over the people of Nephi, that Helaman went forth among the people to declare the word unto them. 21. For behold, because of their wars with the Lamanites and the many little dissensions and disturbances which had been among the people, it it became expedient that the word of God should be declared among them. Yea, and then a regu regulation should be made throughout the church. 22. Therefore Helaman and his brethren went forth and established the church again in all the land. Yea, <coughs> even every city throughout all the land which was possessed by the people of Nephi. And it came to pass that they did appoint priests and teachers throughout all the land over all the churches. 23 and now it came to pass that after Helaman and his brethren had appointed priests and teachers over the churches that there should that there arose a dissension among them and they would not give heed to the words of Helaman and his brethren. 24. But they grew proud, being lifted up in their hearts, because of their exceeding great riches. Therefore, they grew rich in their own eyes, and would not give heed to their words to walk uprightly before God. That's it for twenty. Uh, that's it for forty-five, and that's it for me. I'm gonna go to bed now. So, peace. The fuck out. Have a wonderful whatever the fuck it is you're having right this minute.